Hey YouTube, I'm Frankie Seshi. Do you constantly find yourself searching through folders to play a game that you downloaded a while back? Then stick around because today we're going to be building a Steam collection. Now, why would you want to build a Steam collection? A Steam collection consolidates your entire collection of games into one organized library, making the days of searching through your computer to find a game a thing of the past. No more scanning through folders or using Windows Search. After you build your library, you will have a one-stop source for all of your games. And just look at those cool, large icons. All right, enough selling you on the idea. Let's get started. OK, so now that we've decided to build a collection, we need to get Steam at steampower.com. Install Steam and make an account. It's all free. Once Steam is installed, open the application. It's about right now that you should decide what you want in your collection. Do you want applications of games, or would you prefer just games? Personally, I prefer my library to contain only games. That way I know that whenever I open up Steam, I'm ready to get some gaming done. I won't get distracted by all of the app shortcuts. Okay, so now that we've got the app open, and we've already decided what kind of shortcuts we'd like to add to Steam, here's where things can get ugly. Basically, we're going to have to go into program files to add a shortcut for all of them. We can do this by clicking Add a Game, click Add a Non-Steam Game, and this will open up the Add a Game window. This window scans your PC to find .exe files that may be your games. You can go through and check which files you'd like to add a shortcut to. This scan doesn't always find all of your games, however, so you may have to manually navigate to your C drive to find all of your games by clicking Browse. Now that we've collaborated our entire collection, we can start to see that something is missing. There aren't any shortcut images. I know. Much like iTunes requiring you to obtain your own album artwork, if you buy your game anywhere besides Steam, it's your job to supply the image for the game. Now that sucks, I know, but it's actually very easy to find the right images for all of your games. Go to Google Images and type in the name of your game. Now select Search Tools, Size, Exactly, and set the width to 460 and the height to 215. Now confirm your search. Instantly you will have access to many different images for the same game. Select the one that you like best and after ensuring that it's 460 by 215, save the image. Next, go into Steam, right click the shortcut and set custom image. Now find your image, select it and click OK. If for some reason you can't find the right image on Google, click my video here for a tutorial on creating custom images for Steam in Photoshop. Another thing you've also probably noticed is the titles of your games are most likely totally incorrect. So, in an effort to get everything organized correctly, let's correct the names of all the shortcuts. To do this, right click the shortcut and select Properties. In the very top text box, enter the correct name of the game and click OK. Having all game titles correct ensures that you will effectively find your game when conducting a search in the future. This is especially helpful when you have a massive collection. I understand, many of you have countless games making this an extremely daunting task. A process of this magnitude is not for everybody, but if you're anything like me, you cringe when things aren't organized and efficient. Creating a Steam library provides you with an attractive, quick way to browse your game library, making this huge job actually worth it. Well you know why and you know how, so get out there, put on some good music and get to it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below this video or send me a private message here on YouTube. You can also effectively reach me at any other social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. If you like this kind of content and would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Guys, I've taken up enough of your time. I'm Frankie Seshi, and I'll see you later.